Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. W.C. Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, W.C. Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance free. And with an industry leading six year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your onward HP lithium ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. At Northwest Georgia Media, we're all about capturing the moments that matter to you. From sports to arts, from concerts to business events, we're equipped to share what's happening in your world, live and in high definition. We leverage cutting edge technology and a knowledgeable crew to see that your most unforgettable events remain just that, unforgettable. You've got the graphics at a high level, ESPN style, scoreboard angles, instant replay, anything you would expect to see on a, a regular broadcast, we're getting in a high school ball game. They're set up, you wouldn't even know that they're even in the building. You just trust that they're getting the job done. Northwest Georgia Media, where the world is your audience.
Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access, that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. Welcome everybody to Woodard Gymnasium here at Model High School for another production from Northwest Georgia Media as we bring you the double header tonight between the Model High School girls and boys teams and your Murray County girls and boys teams. And uh, this is gonna be a good night of basketball here at Model. My name is Jeff Gable and on behalf of all the Northwest Georgia Media team, uh, we thank you for joining us here for these live streams. Uh, Model has played well. We've done the last two games here and Model has won both of them, the girls and the boys, beating Temple last Friday and then beating Fanning County on Tuesday. And uh, this game tonight is another Region 7 AA game. And for the Lady Devils here coming up shortly, this is gonna be, might be their biggest test of the year. Uh, Murray County comes into this game ranked number nine in the state. Model is ranked number seven in the state, but this uh, Murray County team is kind of the benchmark for the region. Uh, they were the region champions last year. Uh, Chris Tipton, the, the coach there in his third year, has done a fantastic job with that program. Uh, they reached the state quarterfinals last year, and they were unbeaten in the regular season in 7AA last year, going 12-0. and And they beat Model three times last year, uh, including in the region uh, finals, uh, the region championship game last season. Uh, so Model um, would like to get a win against this Murray County team and kind of reverse that trend. Um, like we said, Murray County has been kind of the benchmark of this uh, region now for the last couple of seasons. And so no better test for Coach Sally Eccles and her Lady Blue Devils to see uh, how they can do against a really strong team. Model comes in, as we said, ranked number seven. They're 6-0 on the year. Uh, they beat Fanning County here on Tuesday night, 52-42. to Struggled a little bit in that game. Uh, went kind of through a dry spell offensively in the uh, second quarter and trailed by, I believe, as many as six or seven points there uh, late second quarter, early third quarter, before they finally found some rhythm offensively, came back, gradually uh, put together, a, I think, a 9-0 run there in the second half, kind of pulled ahead and stayed ahead and won 52-42. to uh, Murray County, their last game was last Friday, uh, where they beat uh, Northwest Woodfield. Uh, they are 4-1 and one on the year. Their other wins come, have come against Ridgeland, uh, Heritage, uh, Hamilton Heights Christian School up in Chattanooga, and they lost to uh, the Gilmer County Lady Bobcats is their only blemish. So this should be a really good team between uh, game between the Murray County Lady Indians and your model Lady Blue Devils. Uh, again, we thank everybody for joining us, and we thank all of our fine sponsors as well. Uh, they help us put together these broadcasts, and we could not do it uh, without their help. So we, uh, we thank all of them for being a part of this, Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialist, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. We thank each and every one of them, again, for helping us put this together. And uh, Nathan Patterson, our, our uh, intrepid leader here at Northwest Georgia Media, has put together a fine crew of individuals. Uh, these men and women do a great job putting all this together. I just get to watch the action and call the game, but they do all the great work uh, that you see here on this live stream, and we thank them for uh, all of their hard work. Uh, tonight's crew includes uh, Braden Holder and Clay Hardiker on uh, cameras, uh, also Jesse Patello and Alyssa Laney on cameras. Our director is Mike Garrett, and the replays you see tonight, courtesy of Nathan Patterson. So uh, it's gonna be a fun night of basketball here, a big 7AA game as model. The Lady Devils try to stay unbeaten and the Murray County Lady Indians tried to continue their run as the dominant team in 7AA. So we'll see how that shakes out. Tell you what, let's take a one minute break. When we come back, we'll have the uh, national anthem and your starting lineups. Getting ready for a great night of basketball here between Murray County and Model. Back in one minute, you're watching Model Blue Devils basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media.
here at Model High School. That was Trevor Roberts with our national anthem. Did an outstanding job. And as the crowd continues to file in, we are getting ready for a good night of basketball here. And we will start off this doubleheader with the uh, Lady Indians of Murray County and the Lady Blue Devils of Model. Your starting lineup for visiting Murray County. Again, head coach Chris Tipton in his third year at Murray County. They have number five, Miley McClure. Number 12, Callan Ledford. Number 21, Bailey Winkler. Number 22, Skylar Mahoney. And number 23, Hadley Dodson. Your starting lineup tonight for the Model Lady Blue Devils. Briley Sims, number 11, is one of your guards. Rachel Burkhalter, number 14, another guard. Uh, senior leader, she didn't score the other night, but Rachel makes a lot of clutch plays and has great leadership for this program. I really like watching her play. Uh, August Betts, number 21, one of the post players. Eva Pointer, who had a really good game against Fannin the other night. And of course, Javia Samples, number 24, one of the best defenders in this region and a really quick, active, athletic player here at Model. She's a lot of fun to watch, too. And we're just about ready to get underway here. Again, Murray County comes in ranked number nine. They're four and one on the year. Model is six and zero, oh, and ranked number seven. And so we will uh, we'll see how this one shakes out. The key for Model. I was talking to assistant coach Robbie Dooley before the game, and he said. You know, Murray County will switch defenses on you. They will uh, they'll press you a little bit from time to time, and they execute really well offensively. So they're going to have their hands full, he said, as Pointer's pass is intercepted, and Hadley Dodson has the rebound. And so Murray County, after that steal, has the first possession of the game. They take a three from the top of the circle, and banking it in is number five, Miley McClure. And so Murray gets a steal on the other end and some contact as August Betts went up and kind of blocked McClure but also got her body. And so that will put McClure very quickly at the line. She'll get two shots here and just a few seconds in the game, Murray County already has a lead. She hits the first one. And the second free throw is good as well. So very quickly, it is five to nothing. Scoreboard shows five to two, but Model has not scored yet. There we go. They fixed that. And so Lady Devils turn it over again. They get a steal right back, but they need to be careful with the basketball here. Samples with it now on the offensive end, right in front of the Murray bench. They try a lob pass into Pointer, but it's knocked away. And Murray County steals it, but a travel as, who was that? That was Bailey Winkler, picked up her foot. She was looking for somebody to pass to and just couldn't stop her momentum. So we'll go back to model. Rachel's gonna trigger it in here on the baseline. Looks inside, nobody there. Lobs it into August Betts in the paint. Now to Pointer, and they're gonna reset on the perimeter here as Samples now has it and gets the offense in motion. Burkhalter looks inside, nothing there. Back up top to Sims. Now August gives it to Samples. Samples, long three-pointer, no good. Sims gets the rebound, goes back up with it, and her shot is no good, rebounded by McClure. And Murray County comes back the other way. Murray County in the black jerseys with white trim and very hard to see green numbers from our vantage point up here high in the rafters at Woodard Gymnasium. Ledford with it, they go inside to Winkler and her shot gets blocked out of bounds. It'll still be Lady Indian's ball here with 11 seconds left on the shot clock. Ledford's gonna get it into Winkler. 
Winkler tries to go in the post. They do, now they kick it back out to Ledford. Her long shot is no good. And the shot clock runs out because that ball did not hit the rim. It just hit the glass. And if it didn't hit the rim, it does not reset. So shot clock violation for Murray County. And the Lady Devils will inbound it. The officials meeting about something here. And ball's going to go to Murray County. I'm not sure what that was about. So it's still Murray County ball here. And they have a new shot clock as well. Their inbounds pass is stolen by Betts. It was a tie-up between Betts and Skyler Mahoney. And the alternating possession arrow favors Murray County, so they will inbound it yet again. Lady Indians lead model 5-0 here in the opening two minutes. Winkler gets the inbounds pass, spins in the lane. Her shot off the glass rolls in. And it is 7-0. Model on the other end. Outside shot by Burkhalter is no good, but she collects the rebound, and Sims has it. They're going to reset here. Rachel out on the wing to August Betts. They look in the post, nothing there. So August drives and gets some contact. Drew the foul. She'll go to the line and shoot two. I believe that foul was on Bailey Winkler. The junior forward came over and kind of hip-checked her and picked up her first foul. First free throw by August is up and off the back of the rim, no good. She'll get one more. I didn't ask Coach Sally Eccles about this, but I know that in last year's game here against Murray County, Model had a really tough night from the free throw line. Lost the game by, I think, 10 points or, or 8 points, and it went to overtime. But I remember after that game, she was a little despondent that they didn't shoot very well at the free throw line, and they could have had a bigger lead late in the game and possibly won that one. And they don't start off well tonight. 0 for 2 as Betts misses both of those free throws. Murray County has the ball back. Ledford's drive left it short, and... August Betts drew a charge off of, well, that was, yeah, that was McClure, Miley McClure on the drive, and August Betts got her feet set and took a charge. That's McClure's first foul, and Model gets the ball back. Smart defensive play by the August Betts. She saw McClure driving hard, and she was going full steam, and August had a chance to plant her feet, take the contact, and draw the charge. On the other end, Samples in the lane. Running jumper is good. Nice running jumper by Javia Samples, and Model gets on the board to make it 7-2, to two, and Murray County throws the ball away, so Model will get it back here. Riley Sims will trigger it in and get it to Javia Samples. And the sophomore guard brings it up, and they set the offense in motion here. Burkhalter looks inside, nobody there. Betts has it, almost lost control, but she gets it back to Rachel, lobs it into Pointer. Her layup is partially blocked, I think. I couldn't tell from my angle. And they're gonna call a foul on Sims, who just got flung to the ground on the rebound there by Skyler Mahoney. And Sims took the contact on the floor and got charged with a foul. So each team now with two team fouls. And Model's going to show a little pressure here as Murray County inbounds the ball. Drive, left-handed layup is no good. Sampos comes up with a rebound. That was Mahoney that missed the shot. And a long lead pass is turned over. And there's a foul called on Burkhalter. So Burkhalter picks up her first foul. Lady Devils need to stay out of foul trouble here. And Sims picks up another one. Just as I say that, I think I jinxed him because she picks up two quick ones. So she's got to go to the bench, and Julia Schinholster comes in. 
I think Model's being just a little too aggressive here on some of these defensive possessions. It's a fine line, and these officials seem to be calling this one tight early, so you have to adjust. And we'll see if Model can keep up the intensity, but not as much contact. Samples tipped that ball out of bounds, almost wound up with a steal. Murray County's Emma Blaylock is going to inbound the ball. She gets it in, and now Murray County will set their offense. Dodson's pass goes out of bounds, and it will go right back to Model. Neither team has been particularly sharp with the ball so far tonight. At least two or three turnovers per team here in the early going. Burke Halter left wing, skips it over to Samples, now to August Betts, free throw line, pass to Shenholster. Out of the three-point line, she bounce passes into Burkhalter. Her shot off the glass is good. Rachel Burkhalter with her first bucket of the game. Back the other way comes Murray County. Thought there was a travel, and there was. I believe that was Skylar Mahoney. Just couldn't stop from dragging that back pivot foot. So Model gets the ball back. They've cut it to seven to four. Let's see if they can cut into the lead further. Samples on the right wing. Skip pass to Rachel here on the left side. Now back to Javia. She's got a little bit of room. She drives, puts up a jumper, and it's good. Javia Samples has got four in the game. And she makes it a 7-6 ball game. And the ball's loose on the floor, and Model came up with it. Couldn't quite hold it. Murray County gets possession, and the reverse layup, though, is no good, and Samples comes up with it. Long lead pass down to Betts. And they're going to say she drug that pivot foot because she caught that ball on the dead run. Couldn't stop her body's momentum. She did everything she could. Tried to keep that toe on the ground and not drag it. But it's a turnover, and Murray County will take over. It's a 7-6 game, 2.52 left in the first quarter. Again, both of these teams are ranked in the top 10. Model has been ranked number 7 for a couple of weeks now here in the early season rankings. And the Murray County Lady Indians got into the top 10 this week. They are ranked number 9. And again, Murray County is the defending region champions. after beating Model in the championship game last year. The Model Lady Blue Devils wound up as the two seed from the region. And they won their first round playoff game before falling to Mount Perrin Christian in the second round. Murray County went a round further. They uh, won their first two games and lost to Josie in the state quarterfinals last year. Their best player last year, Maddie Knuckles, is now playing at Carson Newman College. I found that out from Coach Tipton. She was a great all-around player. Murray County now works the ball around, two and a half to go first quarter. They have a one-point lead as models climb back into this one. Loose ball is stolen by Shinholster. She was just putting up her hands, I think, to deflect that ball, and it wound up right in her hands. She wound up with a steal. Julia now drives, kicks it over to Samples. Now to Burkhalter on the left wing, fires up a three, no good. Loose ball grabbed by Skyler Mahoney, and Murray County comes back the other way. They go inside to Winkler. Her shot partially blocked by August Betts, and Samples comes out with it. Samples is going to drive all the way. Her layup is no good, and rebound taken away by Emma Blaylock. Now to Miley McClure, back to Blaylock, and they get it across the timeline. Spinning shot in the lane by Winkler, no good, but she drew a foul. Let's see who this is on. Winkler's going to go to the line, and let's see who the foul was on. First free throw is good by Winkler. That was called against Eva Pointer, and that's her second. Winkler's going to get one more. 
And she missed that one and Pointer gets the rebound. 8-6 game, Murray County with the lead. Schoenholster looks inside, nothing there. Back up top to Samples. JV back to Schoenholster, turns the corner, drives, gets it off to Burkhalter. She goes in the lane, her shot is no good, might have been some contact. Schoenholster comes up with a rebound, hits the floor hard. And let's see who that fouls on. I believe it's on Emma Blaylock. Yeah, that's who it looks like it's going to be. Emma Blaylock, number 25, picks up the foul. And so with 126 left in the quarter, Model's going to inbound it. Bounce pass is kicked away, but Pointer collects the loose ball, gets it to Rachel Burkhalter. Now Rachel reverses direction, spins. Spacing's not good right now for Model. They're all clumped together. Javia Samples tries to drive, but she drew a foul. And that one's going to be against Hadley Dodson. So that's her first one. And Model will inbound it to August Betts. Can't find the handle, but Samples comes up with it. Samples now to Burkhalter. Skip pass to Julia Schinholster as we get to one minute left in the quarter. Lob pass inside, too high for August Betts. Got a hand on it, but couldn't quite collect it. Jada Wells checks in for the Lady Blue Devils. And they show some pressure now on the defensive end. And somehow they keep it alive. And there's a shot. It's good. It's going to be a basket for Miley McClure, and she's going to go to the line. Call the foul on Jada Wells. I think some of the fans think there was an over and back here at half court that was missed. Free throw was good. They're going to say the basket didn't count. So she's just shooting two free throws. And she hits both of them. So it's 10 to 6. And Shinholster gets knocked to the ground. Okay, they did count the basket because it is now 11-6. I was a little confused there for a moment. And so Schinholzer goes to the line. This is her first trip, and she hits the first one. Julia gets ready for her second shot here. It's up and good. And so she makes it 11 to eight. Back the other way again, Model showing some pressure. Murray County's able to break it. Pump fake and a jumper is off the back of the rim, no good by McClure. And she takes the ball right away and drives. And they call a blocking foul on Samples. I thought she might be in place to draw the charge, but Samples picks up the foul. That'll be her first. And Miley McClure goes to the line and misses the first one. Second free throw is good. That makes it a 12-8 game. I think they were making sure who the foul was on. And so Model will inbound it. As Milan Howard, who's checked in the game, gives it up to Shinholster, and she will walk it up the floor in the final 30 seconds here of the first quarter. 
Burkhalter looks inside, nothing in the post. Back out to Shinholster. Julia picks up her dribble, gives it to Samples. Samples drives, her shot off the mark, no good. Milan Howard gets the rebound, putback is no good. Loose ball is grabbed and Murray County comes out of the pack with it. Long lead pass and layup is good by Callan Ledford. Shinholster now at the end of the first quarter. Her three-pointer no good. It goes out of bounds, and that'll be it for the first quarter. And Murray County has a 14-8 lead after one quarter. Interesting quarter with a lot of action. We'll see how the second quarter turns out. Let's take a one-minute break and come right back. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. first quarter it's now 13 to 8 so there might have been a basket that we miscounted at some point it was 14 to 8 there toward the end of the quarter so it now says 13 so as we start the second quarter it's 13 to 8 and model gets called for a travel there And so we start the second quarter with Murray County having a five-point lead instead of a six-point lead. Shot at the top of the circle by Murray County is partially deflected, I think. Briley Sims comes up with a rebound. Long lead pass to Betts goes out of bounds. So it goes right back to Murray County. Model has tried to run the break a few times tonight, but the passes are just a little bit either too high or too long, and they haven't quite connected on some of those fast break opportunities can tell the goal is they want to run sometimes. I think they have a speed advantage, but just haven't been able to connect. Winkler in the post. Her shot, I think, deflected by August Betts. Pointer comes up with a rebound, and Rachel Burkhalter with it. She crosses half court, now gets it to Sims. They look inside, nothing there. Back to Burkhalter. Now to Sims. Samples has it. She drives. Her shot, running jumper is no good. Pointer gets the rebound. I... I think there was some contact there. No whistle, no call. It just goes out of bounds, so it'll still be model basketball. And so Burkhalter will inbound it. Right there on the baseline. Gets it into Sims. Thought about shooting it, doesn't do it. Instead kicks it out to Pointer. Her free throw line jumper is no good. And a three second violation called against model. I didn't see who was in the lane there but the ball will go back to the Lady Indians. Model going toe to toe physically with Murray County. They've just had some turnovers on those fast break opportunities that I think cost them some possessions. And they hadn't been to the free throw line as much as Murray County has as that ball goes off of Mylon McClure's hands out of bounds. So Model takes possession. Winkler comes out of the game. And Anna Logan checks in, number 14. Sims on the right wing, pump fakes. August Betts hit the ground. We'll see who the foul call was on. I think that's on 22, Skylar Mahoney, who's been very physical underneath. So Skylar Mahoney's foul, that's her first. First team foul this quarter. And Model has the ball as samples. 
Pump fakes, drives, a little Euro step move, no good. But August Betts gets the rebound, puts it up and got fouled. And that may be Mahoney again. Let's see. August Betts will go to the line. First one is good. Yeah, that's the second foul on uh, Skylar Mahoney. So the big physical post player now has two fouls. That may change things a little bit here. As Winkler comes in for her, she goes to the bench. Betts' second free throw is no good. And they're going to call a foul there on the rebound attempt. That's going to be Briley Sims' third. So she is in some foul trouble as well for Model. She's got to come out, and shinholter has got to go back in. I think Sims kind of got popped in the face a little bit there. She goes to the bench. So 6.02, now six minutes to go, second quarter. Pass inside by Murray County is swatted out of bounds by August Betts. Good defense. She closed in quick on Anna Logan and blocked that shot out of bounds. Lady Indians have a four-point lead, 13-9, and they're going to inbound it here on the baseline. They get it into Blaylock. Now they work it around. Loose ball on the floor, and Pointer comes up with it for Model. She gets the steal, gives it up to Burkhalter. Good quick hands by Eva Pointer. Now Samples on the right wing to Shinholster, top of the circle, back to Javia. They try to go inside, and that ball's poked away, but a foul, and I believe that's going to be on Winkler. They will call that almost every time. If you try to come behind and through the offensive player to tip the ball away, they will call that. So Winkler's now got two. Skylar Mahoney's got two. They're two post players, or two starters in the post. Excuse me. August Betts with it. Spins. Nice move. Left-handed layup is good. August Betts makes a great move. And she makes it 13 to 11. Now on the other end, Murray County throws a lead pass that goes out of bounds, and it'll go back to model. So the Lady Blue Devils have a chance to tie it here. Charles E. Richards, number 11, checks in for Murray County. The ball is inbounded. Loose ball is tipped around, and Murray County comes up with it. And the pass is stolen by Eva Pointer. Eva's going to drive in the lane. Layup is good. Eva Pointer with a steal and a layup. And she ties it up at 13. Model turning some defense into offense here. Murray County with the ball, almost a travel. They put up a three-point shot, and it's good. That shot was number 25, Emma Blaylock. Back the other way, Eva Pointer gets a shot in. Back and forth we go. Model gets a steal and Pointer again. Eva Pointer is putting in the points. So Model has taken the lead, 17-16. And a loose ball foul as Model keeps putting this pressure on. They're trying to create turnovers. So far, it's working. And Eva Pointer has scored six straight points. And Model's turned a two-point deficit into a one-point lead. Skylar Mahoney checks back in for Murray County. And Georgia Womack checks in for Model. It was a couple of minutes of full court pressure there. Seemed to fluster Murray County. They turned it over several times, and Model took advantage and got some steals and layups, and now it's a game. That ball's tipped out of bounds by Shinholster. It'll go back to Murray County. Model definitely has quick hands here in this quarter, and they're getting in the passing lanes, deflecting some balls, and again, they've turned it into some offense here. Blaylock kicks it out. On the wing, three-point shot by Ledford is no good. Samples comes up with a loose ball in the open floor. Her layup is good. And Murray County is going to call a timeout as Model has seized the momentum here. They're up 19-16 with 4.02 to go before the half. 
We'll take a one-minute break and come right back. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment. Georgia Highlands College. Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists. WC Timber. Dogwood Books. Shannon Pharmacy. And Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. at Model High School, Murray County gets the ball across half court and they're facing ferocious model defense now as they drive, the shot's partially blocked but a foul called. Let's see on the drive there, trying to see who that was. Charles E. Richards, number 11, goes to the line. A foul was called on Julia Schinholster, her first. And Richards' free throw is good. Kind of clunked on the back of the rim there, right there where the rim meets the glass, but it went in and she gets one more. Second free throw is perfect, nothing but net. And it's now a 19 to 18 game. Motto works it around the perimeter, Womack with it in the corner, now out to Shinholster and out of samples. A good ball fake, she frees up Shinholster, pass to Womack. Julia still with the ball. They're looking at the post, can't get it to her, and the ball is stolen by Murray County. Skyler Mahoney. And they're going to call a foul on August Betts, and that's going to be her second. Don't need to get August in foul trouble. She is a valuable player on both ends of the floor, but she's going to take a seat here for a moment as Jada Wells comes in to replace her. And Murray County, again facing some model pressure, gets it across the timeline. McClure with it, guarded by Womack. Now to Blaylock. Now to Mahoney. McClure with it again. Mahoney tries to drive. She does. Her shot is good. Skyler Mahoney's first bucket of the game. Model now on the offensive end, and Mahoney steals it. Lady Indians have the ball, and now a one-point lead at 20 to 19. Game of momentum swings for sure tonight. They pass to Mahoney in the paint, and her layup, reverse layup, is no good. Loose ball collected by Samples, and she had her feet taken out from under her inadvertently, but that's going to be a foul against Murray County. That's called against Coley Fouts, number 24. That's her first foul. Dodson comes in for McClure from Murray County. And so Model inbounds it with 2.32 to go before the half. Samples finds Shinholster. Looks inside, nothing there. Back to Samples. Womack with the ball. Now Shinholster, now Samples is going to fire up a three. It's a little bit short. And Mahoney comes up with a rebound for Murray County. Lady Indians with the ball. Pass almost gets away, but they keep possession. That's Dodson with it at the top of the circle. Model's defense a little bit better here in the second quarter than the first quarter. Turnaround by Mahoney is no good. Rebound is taken away by uh, Wells, and Mata wants to run. That's Womack, and her layup is good. Georgia Womack scores on a layup. And it's 21 to 20, Model again with a one point lead. Again, back and forth, great action here from Witter Gymnasium. Mahoney wants to drive, has to pick up her dribble, loose ball tipped away, and Samples comes up with it, and she got grabbed. Let's see who that foul is on. 
It's going to be on Emma Blaylock. I thought they might have got Skylar Mahoney. That would have been her third, but it's on Blaylock. That is, uh, I believe, Blaylock's third, though. Maybe one off on my fouls. I've got her for three, but the scoreboard only showing two. Okay, there was a substitution Murray County made, but they can't do it yet till after the free throw. And this is going to put samples at the line for two free throws here at the 123 mark. First one is good. Now Murray County makes their substitutions. And sample second free throw is no good, but Wells gets the rebound. Model keeps possession. They feed it inside, now they go up top to Womack. And they're gonna say she traveled. So the ball goes back to the Lady Indians with 1.14 to go before the half. Model is up by a basket, 22 to 20. Lady Indians working around the perimeter. Lidford with the ball, guarded closely by Samples. She gives it up to McClure. McClure wants to drive and she traveled. Both these teams playing really good defense. I think these are the two best defensive teams in the region. And I have a feeling toward the end of the season as we get to February, these two are gonna be somehow one and two in those region standings. Pass two samples, dangerous pass, but Javia keeps it. Now to Womack, now they find Schenholster in the corner. Thought about a three, didn't take it, she drives. Pulls it out, gives it up in the lane. Loose ball is picked up by Murray County. Mahoney has it. Back the other way. Murray County wants to run. Tipped ball somehow. Murray County keeps possession. Mahoney has it. Drives, puts up a shot. The pump fake worked. Got one defender off her feet, and then her little jumper works. So it's 22-22. As Model's playing for the last possession here, under 10 seconds before halftime. Samples running layup, no good. Loose ball collected by Miley. And they're going to say a foul on uh, Jada Wells there, I believe, over the back. So with three and a half seconds left, that's going to be the fifth team foul. So that will put Murray County at the line for two shots here. Miley McClure will be shooting. First free throw is good. And so Murray County will probably definitely have a lead here as we go to the second quarter or second half. Samples gets the rebound, puts up a half court three point shot, no good. And so that will do it for a very fast paced first half of action. And Murray County leads 23 to 22. A lot of defensive pressure by both teams. It created a lot of turnovers by both teams. And it's been an exciting half to watch so far. The Murray County Lady Indians lead model, 23 to 22, as we go to the break. Tell you what, we will take a uh, five minute break. We will hear from some of our fantastic sponsors. Again, we appreciate them so much. And we will come back with a quick first half scoring recap. Again, Murray County leads 23-22 as we hit the halftime mark. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. 
Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance free. And with an industry leading six year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service At Northwest Georgia Media we're all about capturing the moments that matter to you from sports to arts from concerts to business events we're equipped to share what's happening in your world live and in high definition we leverage cutting-edge technology and a knowledgeable crew to see that your most unforgettable events remain just that unforgettable You've got the graphics at a high level, ESPN style, scoreboard angles, instant replay, anything you would expect to see on a, a regular broadcast, we're getting in a high school ball game. They're set up, you wouldn't even know that they're even in the building. You just trust that they're getting the job done. Northwest Georgia Media, where the world is your audience.
Back here at Woodard Gymnasium, Jeff Gable with you as the teams come out onto the floor to warm up for the second half. And at halftime, the Lady Indians have a 23-22 to 22 lead. Looking at the scoring, right there at the end of the first quarter, there was a little confusion where there was a made basket. should have been one free throw. I think the officials initially waved off the basket and just said it was two free throws. But that was the scoring discrepancy at the end of the first quarter. That's what made it 13 to 8, not 14 to 8. Uh, but Miley McClure hit the basket. It uh, there was an and one, so she did hit the free throw. I know she shot two of them, but just the one of them counted. Um, so she actually leads uh, Murray County in scoring uh, with nine points. Um, Charles e. Richards has two. Bailey Winkler has three, four for Skylar Mahoney, and three for Emma Blaylock. Uh, for your Lady Blue Devils, uh, a good first half for Eva Pointer. She has six points. J, uh, Javia Samples has seven points. August Betts has three and two points each for Julia Schinholster, Rachel Burkhalter, and Georgia Womack. So that is your scoring rundown. Uh, the thing to keep an eye on, too, uh, is the foul trouble. Uh, for Murray County, uh, Bailey Winkler and Skylar Mahoney uh, Hadley Dodson and Emma Blaylock all have two fouls each. And for model, uh, Briley Sims has three fouls, two fouls each for Jada Wells, August Betts, and Rachel Burkhalter. Uh, so model does need to be a little cautious of those fouls. Uh, a couple of starters there, they're gonna play some key minutes, hopefully down the stretch, and we don't need them to be in foul trouble. Model also, I think, I'm sure Sally Eccles and her staff told her team, if the fast break is there, run it, but be a little more careful with the basketball because I think there were some long lead passes that were too high for the model players to collect or they were too far out in front of them, went out of bounds. I think they want to try to make sure that model uh, kind of stays within themselves and don't get too quick moving the ball up the floor. I think they want to value each possession a little bit more, so we'll see how things shake out here in the second half. As we begin the second half, Murray County has the ball going right to left now. That ball's tipped in the lane and now goes out of bounds off of Burkhalter. So Mahoney was the intent, she was open on the, on the block. She was the intended target of that pass, but Rex Burkhalter, good hands, tips it out of bounds. So Lady Indians will trigger it in. Nobody open, they finally get to Mahoney in the lane. She drives, her shot is up and no good. And I believe that's going to be on August Betts. That's going to be a tough foul right there on her on the shot. I believe that's going to be actually on. That's going to be on August Betts. And Mahoney's first free throw is no good. So August now has three fouls. Mahoney misses the free throw. They are checking the book over there now, I think. Making sure who the foul was on, but yeah, it's on August Betts. She was the one defending her in the post. Mahoney's second free throw is good. And it's now 24-22. Model with the ball, Betts with it. Ball is tipped, Sims comes up with it. And now they eventually get it to Burkhalter who lays it up. So Rachel Burkhalter, a nice pass from Samples. And she ties it up at 24-24, back the other way. Skylar Mahoney scores. And gives Murray County the lead right back. Now Sims with it, top of the circle over to Burkhalter. Riley missed a lot of time in that first half in foul trouble. Samples now on the left wing in front of the model bench. Coach Sally Eccles calling out play signals. Shot clock is down to 10. They look inside, nothing there. Sims gonna try to drive, she does. She's in the lane, puts up a shot, no good. Murray County gets the rebound. And they wanna push the ball a little bit with Dodson. Now to McClure, almost lost the handle, back to Dotson, and they're gonna slow it down a little bit and get it in half court. Ledford, now to McClure, 
Gets a screen, drive shot, no good. Pointer gets the rebound. And Samples comes out with it for Model. Bounce pass to Burkhalter. She drives her shot off the top of the backboard, no good. I think she was anticipating contact, trying to draw the foul, and there was no foul called. So the shot was a little off the mark there because I think she was fully expecting some hard body contact. But the ball goes back to Murray County. They've got the ball in a two-point lead here in the third quarter. Underneath, sharp shot partially blocked by Betts. I believe that was Dodson trying to shoot it, and Betts got a piece of the ball. Sims with a ball, turnaround jumper, no good, but she gets the handle, and that ball is tipped and stolen away by Ledford. Murray County with some quick hands here, tipping some balls away in the passing lanes. Dodson has it now to Winkler. She steps behind the three-point line. Shot is off the mark. No good. Rebound collected by Javia Samples. She gets it over to Burkhalter. She fires a three off the mark. No good. And it is out of bounds off of Mahoney. And so Model will keep the possession here and inbound it. Milan Howard checks in, as does Shinholster and Betts and Briley Sims both sit down. Burkhalter looks, nobody there. She tries to get it to Shinholster. There's a little miscommunication. She thought either Shinholster or Poyer was going to break a certain direction, and either one did. So the pass goes out of bounds. And it will be Murray County basketball. McClure with it. Guarded closely by Burkhalter. Tries to drive, gets in the lane. Her shot off the mark, no good. Rebounded by Burkhalter. Rachel gets it to Shinholster, and they push it to Samples in the corner. She fires up a three. It's no good. Loose ball is grabbed by Murray County, and Hadley, Dod Hadley Dodson comes up out of the pack with it, but it goes right back to Model as Samples gets the steal. Samples gives it to Poyer, now to Burkhalter. She fires up a three. This one is off the mark, and Mahoney grabs the rebound. Model and a man-to-man -man defense here as Murray County sets their half-court offense. That pass is off the hands of Winkler and it goes back to Model. Pass was a little strong and Winkler could not collect it. McClure comes out of the game and I believe Emma Blaylock checks in. Shinholster will walk it up the floor for the Lady Blue Devils. Model down two here. Pointer gives it to Samples. Samples looks for somebody to skip pass instead to Shinholster. Fakes the pass inside, and her skip pass is actually stolen away by Dotson. Dotson drives, and Samples got a piece of that, but also, I think, a piece of the body. And so it's going to be a foul on Javia, and that will put Dotson at the line. So Dodson will shoot a pair of free throws here. First one is good. Second free throw off the back of the rim, no good. Uh, but the loose ball is collected by Winkler. And so Winkler gets a layup. It makes it 29-24. Model works the ball around the half court here. Shin holster with it. Nobody open. Still has the dribble out here on the right wing. Now to Samples. Samples drives. Her shot is, I think there was a foul called late. Murray County wanted to jump ball, but somebody had a hold of her arm there. She was driving to the basket. So Samples will shoot two. First one is off the mark, no good. She'll get one more. Five, 
Second one is off the mark, no good, and off the hands of Pointer, it'll go back to Murray County. So they can't take advantage of that opportunity there. Murray County gets it to Mahoney, and she brings it up the floor. Now to Watson, Ledford's gonna fire a three, off the mark, no good. Loose ball in the lane is grabbed and put back by McClure. And it's a seven point lead. Murray County starting to try to pull away. Samples with it on the right side. Now to Shinholster, back to Burkhalter. Murray County just not letting Model get anything in the post at all. Shinholster has it, wants to drive. Puts up a shot off the mark, no good. Milan Howard gets the rebound, and she drew the foul. <laughs> Trying to see who that last Murray County foul was on. I don't think it was on foul because she's not in the game, so we'll have to see who that last foul was on. Milan Howard's first free throw is off the mark, no good. She'll get one more. Still a 31-24 lead for Murray County. Howard's second free throw is off the mark, no good. And it is off the hands of a Murray County player, so it'll go back to Model here. Model's missed four straight free throws here. Want to take advantage of those opportunities. Pointer in the lane, her turnaround shot, a little too hard, no good. And loose ball. It's a jump ball situation, the possession arrow favors model so they will get it here under their own basket shin holster looks to inbound it gets it to howard now julia gets it to samples over to rachel on the left wing looks inside again nothing in the post gives it up to shin holster julia wants to drive nothing there skip pass to burke alter Rachel drives in the lane, tried to lob it to Pointer, and it got tipped by a Murray County player and goes out of bounds. Me thinks the Murray County crowd protests too much because you did see the ball alter its flight, so somebody did get a hand on it. So Model inbounds it with 2.53 to go in the quarter. They need to get some offense here. They're down seven, and Murray County's defense has been really tough here. As the shot clock's running down, I don't think Model realized it. I didn't either for a second, but it's a shot clock violation, so the ball goes back to Murray County. When the ball was tipped out of bounds, it never hit a rim, and so the shot clock did not reset. There's a timeout on the floor. Sally Eccles wants to regroup her team. We'll take a one-minute timeout as well. Murray County leads this one 31-24. Back in one minute, you're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Back here at Woodard Gymnasium, Jeff Gable with you courtside as Murray County will inbound the ball here. We'll reset it for you, 2.42 to go, third quarter, and Murray County has built a 31-24 lead. That bounce pass goes out of bounds, so the ball goes back to model. At halftime, it was 23-22, but since then, Murray County's had an 8-2 run here throughout the quarter, and they now lead by seven. Burkhalter with it, looks inside. Model's just had a hard time getting the ball into the post in the traditional way here in this game, especially in this quarter. Murray County's defense, especially in the post, has been really tough. Samples tries to drive, 
gets the ball. It's partially blocked. Howard gets the offensive rebound. No good. Pointer puts it up, and it's good. So she gets an offensive rebound and a layup to make it 31-26. Back the other direction. It's a layup by Murray County. It was either Ledford or Mahoney there. Ledford, I believe, with the layup. Model still trying to get the ball inside, just can't. Now they feed it into Pointer, and her shot off the rim, no good. Loose ball is grabbed by Mahoney, and she gets it to Blaylock. Now back to Mahoney. Back the other way, McClure drives. No good, and Milan Howard grabs the rebound, gets it to Julie, and she wants to push the ball. Bounce pass inside to Pointer, gets knocked to the floor, no call. And that ball will go back to Model as Miley McClure touched it last. Hadley Dodson comes back in the game for Charlesy Richards. And Rachel Burkhalter is going to trigger it in for Model. And that ball is stolen on the floor, and they're going to say a travel by Callan Ledford. She made a nice steal, but I think that she had both hands on the ball and kind of dribbled it. So it goes right back to model as Burke Alter will get it in. High pass to Samples, almost lost the ball, but she keeps possession. We're down to one minute left in the third quarter. Murray County still up seven. Burke Alter gets it to Shinholster. Now she looks, tries to lob it inside, just not there. It's tipped away. Good defense there by Skyler Mahoney. And Murray County run, winds up with it. And Samples has the ball. It's loose on the floor, still loose. And Shinholster collects it. She tries to drive. And they're going to say she stepped on the sideline here. And so it goes right back to Murray County. Forty-two seconds to go in the quarter. And Murray County will inbound it here on the sideline. Emma Blaylock's going to inbound it. Nope, she comes out of the game, actually. And Anna Logan comes in. So she puts the ball in play to Dotson. Covered by Burke Halter. Samples almost stole it. Ledford comes up with it. Ball's loose on the floor. Ledford gets it to Mahoney. She pulls up for a free throw line jumper. Misses everything out of bounds. It'll go back to Model with 22 and a half seconds left in the quarter. Murray County up seven. Model trying to get some kind of spark here offensively as we head to the fourth. Offense has just not been there for the Lady Devils here in this quarter. They get it to Shinholster. She thought about a three, didn't take it. Instead works it around the perimeter. Picks up her dribble. Now gets it to Pointer. Now to Howard. She pulls up. Her shot's partially blocked, I think, by Mahoney. And McClure collects the loose ball. And the clock runs out in the third quarter here. So Murray County didn't do much offensively, but they did more than model. And they have a seven-point lead as we go to the fourth quarter. It's 33-26. We'll take a one-minute break. Back in one minute, you're watching Model High Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Woodard Gymnasium, Jeff Cable with you and the entire Northwest Georgia media crew in a heated Region 7 AA game here as Murray County has built a seven-point lead. Model's going to have to claw out of this one and find some offense somewhere. They struggled, only scored two baskets in that third quarter. 
as Murray County opens the quarter with the ball. Dotson with it, feeds it underneath, loose ball, and August Betts dives on the floor, loose ball, still loose, and Winkler collects it. Now to Mahoney, they give it to Ledford, her shot is off the mark, no good, Betts collects the rebound. Gets it to Samples, and they're gonna say, I guess as she went up and down, I guess they're gonna say her feet kind of left the ground and then came back down. Tough break there for Model. They defended that well and actually got the loose ball, but Murray County inbounds it and keeps possession. And they're going to say an illegal screen there against Murray County. And they're going to call it on number 21, Bailey Winkler. So that should be her third foul. And so she's going to sit down. She's one of their starting post players. So she's in some foul trouble. August Betts is out there for model playing with three fouls. So is Bailey Sims who's got the ball right now. Now Samples tries to drive and just stolen right out of her hands by Dodson. She's going to drive all the way to the hole and she missed the layup. A little contact by model. Now they get it. Burkhalter to Sims and Sims hits the floor. Is she okay? I think she's okay. She took a hard fall there. And they're going to call the foul, I believe, on Callan Ledford, number 12. Yeah, that's who they call it on. And so Sims will go to the line here. She has yet to score in this game. First free throw off the mark, no good. Model only 4 of 11 from the free throw line tonight. Next free throw is missed as well, and Murray County gets the rebound. And they will bring it across the half court mark. Modeling a man to man. Sims covering Miley McClure. McClure drives, goes to the corner, nothing there, gets it out to Ledford. Now they go in the post, loose ball collected by Samples, and she comes out of the pack with it. Samples drives, pulls up, her bank shot off the glass, no good. Loose ball is. Grabbed by Murray County, and then Samples grabbed her. Callan Ledford got the rebound. Samples was literally trying to grab the rebound, but got half of Ledford's body as well. So Samples picks up foul number three. So Murray County will walk it up the floor here. Dotson with it to McClure. They look in the post, nothing there. So McClure fires a three and hits it. Miley McClure hits a big three-pointer at the 6.23 mark and makes it 36-26, a 10-point lead. Samples tried to drive, picks up her shot, and Mahoney blocks it out of bounds, so it'll still be model basketball. That was a big shot by McClure because Murray County hadn't had a whole lot of luck in the second half on the perimeter. And this inbounds ball is collected by Samples. And she extends the lead now to 10 points. Model goes in the post. And they're going to say whistle and a foul underneath. Foul's called on Skylar Mahoney. That's her third, I believe. And the third team foul for Mahoney here. Burkhalter with the ball on the inbounds. Fires up a three, no good. Sims got the rebound and threw it off of McClure. And they're going to have the officials meet over there. As Coach Sally Eccles and the model staff said, no, she threw it off of McClure's leg, that's where, why it went out of bounds. They conferred and did not change their mind. Quite honestly, the model folks have reason to be a little upset with that one because she threw it off of McClure's leg and went out of bounds. It should be model ball, but it goes to Murray County. So the Lady Indians walk it across half court. A little juice to this one here in the second half. As McClure drives, almost lost the handle, but she traveled. I think that was a good defensive play there by Burkhalter. Reached in, didn't steal the ball, but held the ball against McClure's body 
for just a half second, enough for her to take another step, and so she wound up traveling with it. 5.47 to go in this one. Motto still needs to find some offense here to get back in this one. It's a 10-point game. Murray County leads it 36-26. to 26. Motto gets it in to Burkhalter. And she brings it up the floor. They try to go inside to Betts. It's tipped away. Murray County's got good, quick hands on defense. And there's a foul on Sims, I believe. Bumped into Blaylock and knocked her down. So that will be Sims' fourth foul, if I'm correct. Yep, that's going to be on Briley. Picks up her fourth, and that will send Shinholster back in the game. Briley Sims to the bench. Murray County also makes a substitution as Kellen Ledford comes back in. They get it to Mahoney. She drives. Loose ball goes off of Kellen Ledford. So to be honest, there was a call that should have gone Model's way a moment ago. It didn't. Murray County thinks that one should have gone their way, and it didn't. 5.26 to go in this one. Lady Devils working around the perimeter. They try to look inside. Again, Murray County just playing really good post defense. They try to feed it into Poyer with a lob pass. It's a loose ball on the floor, and they're going to say alternating possession, ball tie up, and it will go to Model with a possession arrow over there at the scorer's table. Julia Shinholster will inbound it. Gets it to August Betts. Out of samples. Near the half-court logo. Tries to drive, spins, drives, puts up a shot, no good, but she drew a foul. I believe that's on Ledford. So Samples will have two free throws here at the 5.04 mark. And she missed that one. She'll get one more. That foul was on Emma Blaylock. Her, I've got her for four, but it's listed as three. Second free throw is good. So it's 36-27. Ledford with the ball. Shinholster tried to knock it out of her hands. Didn't do it. Ledford keeps possession. It's a high screen, they feed it underneath. And they get it to Mahoney. Her shot's partially blocked, but a foul, and that'll send Mahoney to the line. That's gonna be a foul on Samples. That'll be her fourth foul. A lot of players on both teams getting in foul trouble here. Mahoney hits her first free throw. Second free throw is back of the rim, no good. August Betts gets the rebound. 10 point game still, 37 27. Samples with the ball, gets it to Burkhalter. Now fires it over to Shinholster, lobs it in the post. It was just trying to save the ball from going out of bounds. She was off balance, and Murray County steals it. Callan Ledford with the steal. Ledford looks inside, looks for a high screen, but she doesn't take it. Instead drives, bumps right into Samples, and she gets the offensive foul as Javia kind of hit her head on the floor a little bit. She's rubbing her noggin, but she seems to be okay. And Ledford picks up the foul. So with 4.16 to go, again, the clock just keeps moving, and Model's offense has just had tough sledding here in this second half. I think they're adjusting the shot clock, I believe, is what they did. So, yeah, shot clock at 31, game clock at 411, and model is down 10. Samples looks inside, nothing there. Skip pass to Burkhalter. Rachel gets it back to Shinholster. At the logo, gives it two samples. Again, nothing inside at all for a model to have an option. Samples tries to drive, turns the corner. That ball's tipped out of bounds by Winkler. 
Shot clock at eight. And Coach Sally Eccles is going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. Murray County leads by 10. We'll take a one-minute break. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Jeff Gable with you here at Woodard Gymnasium as Model breaks the huddle after the timeout. They're down 10, 37-27. Time is of the essence. It's 3.49 to go in the game. And again, Model's offense has just been stuck. They've only scored five points this half as the Murray County defense has really turned up here. Schinholster inbounds it to Samples. Samples gets it to Pointer, wants to drive. Instead, gets it to Samples. She fires up a three off the mark, no good. And Mahoney comes up with a rebound for Murray County. She's probably got to have close to double-digit rebounds. She's been a force in the paint. Dodson gets it across half court to Ledford, I believe. These Murray County jerseys are a little tough to read, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, that's Ledford with it. Back up top to Dodson. Gets it to McClure. McClure. Puts it on a move, drives, got fouled. And they're going to say offensive foul on her. So she, August Betts, slid over and was there and drew the contact right there on the block. And so the foul is going to be on Miley McClure, her second. Player control foul, so Model will inbound it here. Three fifteen on the clock. And is that going to be five team fouls or five personal fouls? I've only got McClure as having two personals. So I think the five they're signaling is it's the fifth team foul, which leads to a shooting situation. That's the rule nowadays. Remember, used to you got to seven fouls each half, and you would shoot one and one until the tenth foul, and then it was a double bonus. Now it's five team fouls per quarter, and then you shoot two free throws. So I think that's what the officials are conferring with the scorer's table about, is it's the fifth team foul. And Model should be shooting here. I thought that's what they were going to decide, but I've been wrong on every guess tonight, so that's not what it is. I guess maybe that's the fourth team foul. So the next one will be five. As Model works the ball around the perimeter, 3.08 to go. Samples in the lane, puts up a shot off the glass, rimmed out no good. They just can't get the ball to drop. It's just a lid on the basket right now. They've had some good looks. That one just rolled around the rim and out. August Betts fought for that rebound. It wound up going off of a Murray County player. So Schinholster will inbound it for Model. They give it over to Rachel Burkhalter. And Northwest Georgia Media. We're all about capturing the moments that matter to you. From sports to art. And Murray County's going to reset. If I'm Murray County, I wind this clock down every possession as far as I can. The clock's on their side. McClure with it. And they're going to say an offensive foul there on the screen on Skylar Mahoney. And she picks up her fourth. That's a player that Murray County can't afford to have foul out. So that's going to be the fifth team foul. The officials keep signaling to the Murray County bench five fouls. I guess that is her fifth. I had her down for four. Nope. 
She's only got four, okay. Hasn't been the cleanest game, quite honestly, called. There's been some procedural things here that haven't been the sharpest. I think it should be the fifth team foul, so Model should be shooting. And Chris Tipton from Murray County talks to the official, and they're not sure if that's five personals on Mahoney or not. Now she is leaving. I'll be honest, I think Chris Tipton has a point because I've only got her at four. But I think Coach Sally Eccles should have a point that, hey, after the fifth team foul, don't we shoot free throws? And I thought two fouls ago we were at the fifth team foul. So I think both teams kind of shaking their heads here. Tipton's not sure that was really five fouls on Mahoney, and Eccles is wondering why our model's not shooting. So 2.30 to go, model still down 10. Shin Holster looks over to Samples. Now back to Shin Holster, fake to three. They get it back to Samples. She turns the corner, drives her shot, front of the rim, no good. Loose ball is collected by Dodson, and that's gonna be a foul, I believe, on Samples, and that should be her fifth. So model calls a timeout, we'll keep it right here. The Murray County defense has just not allowed Model to make any kind of run here in the second half. Model has only scored four points in the third quarter, one point in the fourth quarter. That was a free throw by Samples a couple of minutes ago. They haven't hit a field goal since Rachel Burkhalter had a layup, or excuse me, since uh, Eva Pointer had a layup after an offensive rebound late in the third quarter. Murray County has just really played good defense, especially in the paint. In the post, Model has not been able to get anything traditionally the way you would feed the post from the wing, get a bounce pass or a lob pass into one of your post players there on that blue block there by the lane. And that is where Model has struggled to get the ball in the post and get anything close to the basket. Everything has either been a perimeter shot or a driving shot. Murray County's gonna inbound it. Haley Dodson with it, gets it to McClure. McClure's pass stolen by Shin Holster at half court and she's immediately fouled by Dodson. So that's gonna put Shin Holster at the line. She's two for two from the line tonight. I think Model's just gonna run out of time here tonight, I think in this one. First free throw is good by Shin Holster. She gets one more. They haven't been able to get a lot of fast break points. And feeding the post has been tough. So literally running jumpers and, and a pump, a shot fake and trying to drive to the basket have been the only way they've been able to get some points. Murray County beats the pressure, gets it across the timeline. And now Ledford Gets it to Blaylock. And working around the perimeter, Dotson with it now. Feeds it over to Blaylock. Now they go to Winkler. Free throw line, hands it off to Ledford. Shot clock down to 12, game clock at 147. Ledford gets it to McClure. They're just running kind of a stall situation here to burn some time on the clock. But the shot clock's now down to four. Loose ball on the floor. Winkler turns around, one-handed jumper. They executed that perfectly. Bailey Winkler with a short jump shot. And they make it 39-29. This is not going to be the prettiest game in the annals of basketball offensively. But Murray County put on a clinic on how to play defense. August Betts in the lane. Her left-handed shot no good. She gets the rebound. Feeds it to Shinholster. She fires a three. Good. Julia Shinholster hits a three-pointer. And that's the first offensive excitement models had this whole second half at the 113 mark. They close it to 39-32. Again, model has not had a lot of success from outside. That's the first three-pointer tonight. And again, the first field goal they have scored since 205 left 
in the third quarter. So the Murray County defense has really just put a lid on the basket and not let Model get anything, at least nothing easy. The only points they've scored here in the fourth quarter before that were some free throws. It's a seven-point game now. Model will be shooting free throws, two free throws from here on out on any Murray County foul. If the scoreboard is right, Model has 14 fouls, so Murray County on the next one will be shooting two free throws. Skyler Mahoney is fouled out for Murray County. And Samples, I believe, is fouled out for Model. A couple other players have three or four fouls. Uh, Briley Sims has four for Model. August Betts has, I believe, three for Model. Emma Blaylock has four. And Bay Winkler has three for Murray County. Now, Samples only has four fouls. She's still on the floor. I think I charged one to her accidentally a little earlier. But she doesn't need to get another one as McClure almost lost the handle for Murray County. Schinholster guarding her closely. They get the ball somehow, and they're going to say a timeout quickly called by Chris Tipton. Smart play by Murray County. When they saw McClure had picked up her dribble and she was in trouble, nobody there. Chris Tipton called a timeout. Again, this is a Murray County team that battled model three times last year. The first couple of regular season games were close games in the region tournament final. Murray County, from what I hear, just shot the lights out and they were up big, like 20 to six or 20 to seven at some point in the first quarter, early second quarter, and just kind of cruised from there. It was a 48-29 final. So Murray County, has been the mystery that Model has not been able to solve the last several times they've played them. This will be four straight they've lost to them, at least. They didn't go back and look at the 22 season. But Model now kind of knows the benchmark. If they're going to get deep in the region playoffs, if they're going to get a top seed, if they're going to win a region title, eventually they're going to have to beat this team and figure out a way to solve this tough zone defense that Murray County has played really well tonight. Laylock's going to try to get it in for Murray County right there in front of the model bench. Gets it to McClure. Now to Ledford. Gets across half court. Double teamed right there. And they're going to say a foul on Burkhalter. And so that will put Murray County at the line now. So Burkhalter. So Callan Ledford will be shooting. One minute left in the game. Her first free throw is good. Murray County's been solid from the free throw line tonight. Ledford's got three points in the game now. Second one back of the rim, no good. August Betts gets the rebound. It's 40 to 32. They get it to Burkhalter. She fires up a three from in front of the model bench and hits it. And now a ball on the floor, loose ball, alternating possession arrow on the jump ball will favor Murray. Rachel now has seven in the game. Models cut the lead to five. The clock though says no. It says 48 seconds. I don't know if there's going to be enough time for Model to get back in it as Schindholster steals it and lost the handle, and they're gonna say it's gonna be Murray County basketball. I think Julia maybe thought she got grabbed on the arm, but I think they just grabbed the ball and knocked it out of her hands, and so it stays Murray County ball. Clock is at 43 seconds. They inbound it, get it to McClure. Now to Dodson. Dodson in some trouble. Pointer tried to get her, couldn't do it. They get it to Winkler, now to McClure. Long lead pass, and Murray County gets it across the timeline. Now Winkler has it, free throw line extended, and they're going to say there's a reach-in foul. I think that's going to be on Betts, and I believe that's going to be her fifth or her fourth. I think that's her fourth, and that will put Bailey Winkler at the line for two. She's one for two tonight so far from the line. Free throw is up and good. It's 
41-35. Lead back to six. Sims comes in for model. Second free throw is no good. Rebound by Samples. So she hits one out of two. Javia puts up a three off the back of the mark. No good. And Rachel Burkhalter got the offensive rebound, tried to go back up and got fouled. So she will shoot a pair of free throws. Foul is on Miley McClure. That is her third. Only 18.9 seconds left on the clock. First free throw is good. It's a five point game. This has been an absolute battle here tonight. Second free throw is good. It's a four point game, 41 to 37. Coach Sally Eccles and her staff calling her team together, trying to figure out a way to create some quick turnovers and get a quick shot and make this a one possession game. Time is just against him here as that clock says 18.9 seconds left. The shot clock is off, so that has no bearing here down the stretch. Model is going to have to create a very quick turnover. Remember, we're both, both teams are now shooting free throws, two free throws each foul. That's the rule change from a couple of years ago when you used to have the one in one situation and then the double bonus. Now it's, for all intents and purposes, it's the double bonus situation after five team fouls each quarter. They reset each quarter. Dodson inbounds it for Murray County to Ledford and she's quickly fouled. It's either gonna be on pointer or samples. And if it's on samples, that might be her fifth. Yep, that's going to be five on JV Samples. So she leaves the game after scoring eight points tonight. And Georgia Womack is going to come in and replace her. And standing at the free throw stripe for Murray County is Allen Ledford, the sophomore guard. Ledford has three points in the game tonight. These are big free throws here with 17 seconds left on the clock. First free throw is good. Makes it a five point game, 42-37. Second free throw up and good. Makes it 43-37. Back the other way comes Model. Georgia has it, passes it underneath to pointer, stolen, but Georgia Womack gets it right back. She fires up a three, no good. Rachel Burkhalter gets the rebound, puts it in, it scores with three and a half seconds, but the clock's gonna run out, and Murray County's gonna have a very hard fought 43-39 win, as Model just ran out of time in that one, and Murray County played fantastic defense, stifling defense, especially in that second half. Model got a little offense there late, but it was not enough to overcome a great Murray County effort. A few calls here and there might have been questionable, a little more physical game than I think either coach wanted, but Murray County earns a very hard fought 43 to 39 win. Model's first loss of the year, first region loss too, as Model falls to six and one on the year, and Murray County improves to five and one, and they are now one and zero oh in region play as well. So this sets up for a rematch here in a few weeks in uh, late January up in Chatsworth where Model will have to play Murray County up there. Uh, but a tough one here at home tonight for the Model Lady Blue Devils. They fall 43 to 39 to Murray County. So as the boys teams get ready to head out on the floor, we're gonna take a break for a few minutes. And I tell you what, we'll come back with about two minutes left on the warm up clock here and get you ready for the boys game coming up as the Murray County Indians take on the Model Blue Devils. But once again, your final score from the girls game here, Murray County 43, your Model Lady Blue Devils 39. We'll take a break and be back with the boys game in just a few minutes. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. 
Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible.